All right, Ken, thanks. Our other top story at 530, Super Bowl 53 is going to be a battle of Bay Area quarterbacks. Tom Brady of the New England Patriots played high school ball in San Mateo. Jared Goff, who leads the L.A. Rams, played in Marin County and then in Berkeley. So people in Nevada and beyond know all about Goff's emergence as a standout athlete. And now they plan to enjoy his moment on football's biggest stage. KPI X5's Wilson Walker on the people rooting for their hometown quarterback. Wilson? Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that you know a little something about Tom Brady, a man who has been in the news a little bit. Jared Goff, not so much. So what's his story? Well, it all started right here in Novato. This is a very small community. I mean, it's a, like you, it's quiet. It's unassuming. Yes, it's quite the talk of the neighborhood. From the quiet neighborhood, his parents still call home to the quaint streets of downtown. Novato is a place just small enough for people to remember a young Jared Goff. Then went on to you know, Marin Catholic and did well there, and then Cal Berkeley and did well there, and we're ecstatic to see him go on and play in the NFL, and now he's headed for the Super Bowl. So as you might expect, the town is beaming over their Super Bowl-bound son. You know, after the game yesterday, you see him interviewed, and he's just so polite and poised and just seems like, such, I mean, he's just a nice guy. And it's not just the neighbors, the Viking. Yeah, that's a Rams bar now. Oh, 100%. Yeah, maybe we'll be on the map now. It's about time Nevada gets recognized for all the professional players that we've always had here. But quarterback in the Super Bowl, kind of its own threshold of sports achievement, and that brings us to the competition. Yeah, he's taking on the goat with the actual goat's number on his chest, so there you go. <laughs> and while it may be a collision of Bay Area quarterbacks, Novato is not afraid to take sides in this game. Uh, I like Tom Brady, but Tom's had his, you know, he's had his success, and uh, um, I, we're going to be rooting for Jared. Yeah, I think a lot of people share that sentiment. Now, I am not going to get involved in the greatest of all time goat debate on television in Northern California. I am smart enough not to do that. But think about it. When he played in his first Super Bowl, Tom Brady was 24 years young. Jared Goff, 24 years young as well. Who would have thought Tom Brady would play in like eight more Super Bowls? So, you know, regardless of the outcome here, fair to say that an early yet incredibly exciting chapter in the Jared Goff story and like who knows you know how many years or potentially Super Bowls come after this but uh, I think that 24 number is uh, kind of incredible Alan Veronica yeah it's gonna be fun Absolutely. to watch maybe a changing of the guard <laughs> <laughs> all right Wilson Walker in Nevada maybe. we appreciate it thanks Wilson thanks Wilson well Marin Catholic High School tweeted support for Jared Goff saying Congrats, Jared, on heading to the Super Bowl. Get it done. Hashtag beat Sarah. I think Coach Mozzie had something to do with that. And the Sarah High School Athletics Department tweeted some love for their alum, writing, Congrats to Tom Brady, 95, on his ninth Super Bowl appearance. The five time Super Bowl champion Brady was not a top draft pick like Jared Goff was, but of course, he's found plenty of success anyway, hadn't he? We caught up with his parents here in the Bay Area. They say no matter how many Super Bowls they go to, it is always exciting. We can't wait to get to Atlanta and uh, take on the Rams and being as awesome as they are, uh, to be able to take on the Rams and, and aim for a sixth Super Bowl championship will be uh, another fun odyssey for our whole family to come in from all over the country to to get together and to celebrate the, this season. Mom, let me ask and you. Maybe how many... say I'm going to Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom. I'm rooting for Jared. All right, you can see our full interview with Tom Brady's parents on KPIX.com. Look under "Too Good to Miss" on the front page. And tickets to the big game won't come cheap, even for people who find a way to purchase them at face value. The Rams held a lottery for tickets yesterday, since there are not enough to go around for every season ticket holder. And here's the price, 1200 bucks. Tickets are also selling online for between three to 6000 And on the NFL's official ticket exchange, there is a wide range, all the way up to $30,000. Get this, some dedicated fans say, hey, it's all worth it. It's hard to explain when you ask what it is. I don't know, it's just like, like Tyler, I think, said it best. I, I couldn't even imagine. Yeah. Like, there are other teams I like and other players I like, but none take the place of the Rams.
There are also package deals that include a game ticket and three nights in a hotel, but no airfare, and they are selling for about six thousand dollars. You can watch the Bay Area quarterbacks face off in Super Bowl 53 on Sunday, February 3rd, right here on KPX5. The kickoff in Atlanta is set for 3:30 our time.